a 17-time NBA All-Star, the third highest scorer in NBA history, the 2008 MVP, two-time NBA Finals MVP, five-time NBA champion, a 6'6 six -six guard from Lower Marion High School, where he won the title. How you doing? It's your boy E. Gray from E36 Unfiltered Live Podcast and YouTube. Kobe Bryant, the tragic loss that, that, that shocked the world, sent shockwave through the world, NBA community all over. Kobe Bryant, aka the Black Mamba. Uh, so I, I could not pass up the opportunity to be able to, more importantly, highlight the beauty of his life and the journey and the lesson that he left for us to be able to embody but more importantly his mentality because although the body may fade and go away it's gone the impact and the mentality the mamba mentality lives on so this, this video today will mostly highlight the mamba mentality you can hear from his own words and we also be able to see highlights of how he applied it to his life while he was in the game and how he applied it post career and something more beautiful how he even created to be able to go into the everyday life of everybody out in this world and how how you understand the beauty of your box to be able to form the mamba mentality so without further ado we salute you we reverence you kobe bryant fans this is for you black mamba the mamba mentality simply means trying to be the best version of yourself to try to be the best basketball player you can be. To do that, you have to practice, you have to train. You want to train as much as you can, as often as you can. So if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to two, you have to let your body recover. So you eat, recover, you know, you get back out, you train, start training again at six, train from six to eight. And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, those are two sessions. And now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four, Four to six, come home, breakfast, relax. Now you're back at it again, nine to 11, right? Relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, two to four, and now you're back at it again, seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four, right? So now you do that, and as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers it just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger by year five or six doesn't matter how, what kind of work they do in the summer they're never going to catch up because they're five years behind <laughs> dance beautifully in the box that you are comfortable dancing in <laughs> right so like everybody's box is different my box was to be extremely ambitious within the sport of basketball your box it's different than mine, right? Every kid here has their own box, but it doesn't mean that your box isn't as beautiful as mine, right? Right. So it doesn't mean you have to go out here and do all of these crazy things. I'll have to be like this person or that person. No. What are you comfortable being? What it is that what what is it that you want to do with your life? And once you have that, then you try to live it to the best of your ability. And that was just a glimpse into the mind of Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. Uh, I sent chills, man, just thinking about how he's able to, you know, the, the humility and the, the selflessness that he displayed and, and breaking it down to those kids and college kids how to dance beautifully in your own box. Man, it was just a glimpse of what we were needing to get out of Kobe. Things we never had seen from him because we were just so enclosed and so engulfed in his own world of being great. And there's no excuse for that. You know, there's no, there's nothing wrong with what he's doing. Uh, but like he said, he transitioned, man, and he was transitioning to helping others out um, to be great and to embody that type of mentality. No one phrases the mama's mentality. We thank you. Now, I'm going to transition over from the mama mentality to hearing some of the impact that he left on some of the NBA grace, the Dwayne Ways, um, you know, Shaq, um, uh, the coaches, Popovich, uh, Kareem, all of these people, man, just left heartwarming and heartbroken um, uh, words 
of, of shock, love, and support. The list goes on and on. I couldn't put all of them in there like I wanted to, but I put a clip, few clips in there and you can see in some of the fans and I'll pour love. Mother mentality, Kobe Bryant, never be forgotten. Let's check them out. pretty emotional about the tragedy uh, with Kobe and uh, all of us know what a great player he was but he went beyond great playing he was a competitor uh, that is that goes unmatched and it's what made him uh, as a player so attractive to everybody that focus uh, that competitiveness that will to win Today is, is one of the saddest days in my lifetime. It seems like a bad, like a bad dream. She just want to wake up from it. Yo, man, that was, yo, if you guys didn't feel that tribute and just how they felt the love, the love, man, the amount of sadness, sometimes I can tell a lot about the type of love that you left on this earth and how you lived your life and how much it was admired. I, I can go on and on and go on and on about this, but anyway, my mentality is what it's truly about. Um, but that's the thing about it, real quick. You gotta understand the reason I'm talking about the mama mentality is because all the accolades that Kobe was able to achieve, the, the 18 times All-Star, the five, um, NBA championships, the MVP, the final MVPs, all of that is great, but it was about what was in here. Kobe wasn't always the most talented. He wasn't the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, all of it, but he had a combination of everything and he constantly worked in the mentality to never rest on his talent alone or what he had done in the past. Do a year 20 and he was still giving all he got, left us with 60 points. And so that's why I'm talking about the mentality, the mama mentality, to live on. Because all this love and support you're seeing, all this shock waves are going through the entire, not just NBA, but the entire world, it's because of his mentality, man. And that's something we can carry on. So I thought it was important to show this video. Press it on. Keep going. Last one. Tribute. Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we have been through That I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place Ah, uh, how can we not talk about
talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again We've come a long way From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again When I see you again Go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small Turned to a friendship, a friendship turned to a bond And that bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first, then the line will never be crossed Established it on our own when that line had to be drawn And that line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last time. Don't so let the light guide your way. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. And every road you take will always lead you. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Leave a comment below of your best Kobe memories and your thoughts. Continue to support the page. Thank you very much. Kobe, the mama mentality. I'm going to let him say it. You know what it is. What can I say? Mamba out.